Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside 50. I'm Troy Luff. And I'm Stephen Lord. First up, Steve-o, Buddy Franklin. He kicked another six goals on the weekend to leave him just nine short of the ton. And the last person to do that in a home and away season was Tony Lockett way back in 1998. Yeah, what a superstar he is. In full flight, almost unstoppable. And the way the Tigers played on the weekend, I think he's half a chance to bag those nine. Well, he's had well over 160 shots at goal this year. He could have reached the milestone weeks and weeks ago. Now, speaking of Hawthorne, Steve-o, Shane Crawford played his 300th game on the weekend. Congratulations to him, and he had a blinder. What a superstar he's been for the Hawks. Now, if Buddy reaches that milestone this weekend, there might be a few disappointed fans. The AFL is looking to stop one of the great traditions of fans running on to celebrate when a player kicks his 100th goal of the season. Well, I've been on the field a few times when Big Plugger kicked 100 goals, also once when Gary Ablett did it, and I think it's just genuine excitement from the fans. It's harmless. Let them run on the field. And I hope the AFL doesn't go to the extent of fining them up to $5,000 each for running on the field. That is a lot of money. Now, Matthew Lloyd kicked 100 goals during the final series of 2001, and he even said it's great to see the fans run on the field. With the top three spots already sewn up in the AFL this year, there are five teams fighting for that final double chance. The Swans are just hanging on to it at the moment. It's a big game this week, Steve-o, Swans versus Cats. Very tough for the Swans this week against Geelong. Although Adam Goods, eight goals against Frio last week. Do you expect to see him up forward again, Luffy? Look, I do expect to see him up forward. His previous best was only five goals. So I expect to see Adam Goods and Barry Hall as the two forwards this week. Now, with Leo Barry and Nick Malcheski coming back, I'm going to tip the Swans. What about you, Steve-o? Now, I think Chapman and Milburn back for the Cats, too strong. Well, at the other end of the scale, Brisbane is on a downward slide after losing five of their past six matches. Well, Steve-o, Jonathan Brown is carrying a few niggling injuries. If he doesn't kick goals and Daniel Bradshaw doesn't kick goals, what else have they got? Yeah, they're a little one-dimensional up forward, and I don't think they're getting the same run from the back line or the midfield they were at the start of the season. No, well, at the moment, they've only got five other players that have kicked double figures in goals, with Anthony Corry kicking 19. Well, what's your tip for this week, Luffy? Lions versus the Bulldogs. Well, the Lions got absolutely pumped by Hawthorne last week, and the Dogs were surprised losers against the Kangaroos, so I think the Dogs, they're going to be on the rebound. Dogs for me, for sure. Yeah, I think the dogs will be too strong, even though it's in uh, at the Gabba. That's it for this week on Inside 50. Check us out on Facebook on the Inside 50 page and post us any questions you might have. Otherwise, we'll see you next week.